Good morning crew and welcome back to my channel unless of course you guys are new around here in which case hi hello my name is Ashley but they call me a true Thank you so much for clicking on my video. All right, y'all. I am getting ready to go out on a walk. Where's my scrunchie? So today's video, let's just get into it. I have no clue what we're doing. It took me so long to decide if I was gonna go to the gym and do my walk on the treadmill or go to the park. Um, if you didn't watch my last vlog, last time I went to the park, I came to face to face with two coyotes. And so now I'm a little afraid, but I think I just might go to a different area, one that's like fully populated. So that way I'm not the only piece of meat walking by. You know what I mean? Because that was the scary part, was that I was in an area that was completely... Like, it's not like I wasn't supposed to be there. I was on a walking trail, but like... There was no one else on it at that time. So I was just the only prospect for these guys. Gonna put on a little, little, I don't know, whatever this is. It's kind of like sunscreen, but it's like tanning. I don't know. But anyway, so today is Wednesday, June 8th. Wednesday, June 8th. And the new Jurassic Park movie comes out tomorrow. I don't know like how old anyone is that watches this, but like when I was a teenager, midnight premieres happened at like Thursday at like earliest 11, 11.30 p.m. But mostly it was like 12, 12.05, 12.15. Like they really were midnight premieres. Now, I don't know if it's because of money or because of like safety reasons, like with all the shootings and stuff that happened these days. I mean, honestly, I feel like most take place during the day anyway, so I don't know. Um, but now movies come out, like, if it's a big, like, typical Friday premiere, it comes out at, like, 3 p.m. on Thursday. So, the new Jurassic World movie, the third and final installment of the Jurassic World franchise, comes out tomorrow. And you guys know how much I love a theme and how much I love a franchise and a fandom and I love to do things for it. If you didn't see my Harry Potter movie marathon video, I will link it down below. I watched all eight of the Harry Potter movies in one day. And then the next day I watched the two um, Fantastic Beasts movies. And then I went and saw the third one. And so, that's kind of what I want to do today. I want to watch the Jurassic Park movies and the Jurassic World and then go see it. But I'm having trouble deciding what to do because I don't work today, but I do work tomorrow. So I can't, it's not like Harry Potter where I had both days off because that movie came out during spring break. So because my kids were on vacation, I was on vacation. My kids are now on summer vacation, but not all of them at the same time. They obviously didn't all take like three months off. They just took, they just have sporadic days. It's not the point. The point is that I have work tomorrow and I don't today. So today is Wednesday, the day before the movie comes out. And so I'm like, well, I don't work all day tomorrow. I just work in the afternoon. So, and I'm going to see the movie at 9.20 at night. So like, what do I want to do? Do I want to watch like all three of the Jurassic Parks today and then maybe the Jurassic Worlds tomorrow and then go to work and then go see the movie? Or do I want to try to watch all five today, like all five that are out? But if I do that, I need like 10 hours and it's already noon and I want to go on my 45 minute walk and then I'm like, okay, do I want to do it like the way that I did Harry Potter? One, I'm not as prepared. I tried to be, like, I looked it up and stuff, like, um, like Jurassic Park themed parties, but it was mostly decorations. 
I can't do it quite like I did Harry Potter because there aren't as much like themed foods. I definitely have a fair amount of Jurassic Park shirts, like three or four. So that's not a problem. But like when I did the Harry Potter marathon, I had like themed food and themed drinks. And that like wouldn't be the case this time. It would just be like me in an outfit, which makes me think like, is there even anything to vlog? But like, I wanna vlog it. Cause like, this is the stuff that I enjoy doing. Like, this is me. This is like, oh, if you were Ashley's friend in real life, this is something that we would do. Like we would have a themed movie night. It just so happens that the person I would have it with is my best friend, Chris to the fur, and he works today. So he can't, he can't come. And then he's off tomorrow, but I work. So like, you know, it just didn't, didn't work out again the same way that it worked out with Harry Potter. But we're gonna go on our walk, get our 45 minutes in, do our hot girl summer walks. I feel like, cause see like, okay, just off the top of my head, I'm like, oh, we could get like dinosaur nuggets and like those egg candies that they kind of sell, like they sell them all year, but they're kind of popular around Easter. But like, neither of those sound good. Like, with Harry Potter, it was, like, snacks that I had. I don't know. And I would say I would, like, look stuff up on my walk, but... Look stuff up on my walk. But, like, it's hard to see the phone out there in the sunlight. So, yeah. All right. Let's go. Hi, everyone. I am back home now. It is 2.54, so I was gone, like, three hours. Okay, no, I wasn't. I got home around 2, but I ate. So I went on my 45 minute walk. I finished around one, I don't know, 15 maybe. And then I stopped at my mom's work to get some food cause I was hungry. Then I sat there talking for like 45 minutes and then I came home and ate it. And now we're gonna shower cause I'm disgusting. Um, but I wanna wash my hair. And then I think while my hair is drying, I'm gonna like clean up my room a little bit and we will get it ready for the movie night tonight. I think I've decided to watch the first three today and then the two Jurassic Worlds tomorrow. So that is the plan for the night. And I'm so excited. All right, y'all, I'm back from the shower. Um, remember how I was like, oh, while my hair dries, I'm gonna like clean my room, set it up for the movies, and then, and then I just kind of sat down on my bed. Yeah, I didn't do, didn't do any of that. I'm feeling very tired. Um, kind of want to nap, but I don't have time for it if I want to watch all three of the movies because the first two movies are like two hours and 10 minutes each. So that's four hours and 20 minutes plus another hour and a half for the next one. So altogether, that's nearly six hours, like five hours and 40 minutes. Five hours and 50 minutes something like that yeah I need to get going it's like 4 30 so I need to get dressed need to go to the store and get my little snacks I got I made a little list we're gonna have some themes um, I found a couple things that I could get so yay but right now I just need to pick out my outfit I need to grab all of them so that way I should why am I like this? I should grab all of them so that way I know. Like, okay, here's one. Guys, my other two are missing. Guys, where are my other two shirts? I didn't even want to wear that one. Okay, good news is I found the one that I wanted to wear for tonight's movie night. I just wanted to be super comfy. Um... And I wanted to wear the Clever Girl one to the movies tomorrow. And then I have like a tank top type one that I want to wear tomorrow morning. So hopefully I can find it. But I literally don't even know the last time I wore it. So Sorry for the air conditioning, but it's 108 out here. So like I'm not turning it off. Just in case I don't vlog in there because it is 5 o'clock. So it's 5 o'clock traffic and 5 o'clock crowds. It might be a little too popping in there for me to want to risk it. Cause you guys know I have this fear of vlogging in a store and then them, them kicking me out. Oh my God, the list is on my computer, not my phone. Okay, there were like five things on it. It was grapes for dragon eggs. Let, should I, let's write it down in case. Okay, hold on. I can't believe I did that. I'm so mad at me. Okay, 
It was yogurt covered pretzels for dinosaur bones. It was green grapes for dino eggs. It was dino nuggets. Doritos were on there as like claws. There was a fifth one, you guys. I can't remember what it is. We'll have to see if I remember it when we get in there, but damn. I can't believe I didn't realize that I wrote it on my computer instead of my, and I didn't write it in the notes app on my computer. I used like the sticky note app. Dang it. Oh well, I'm back. Sorry, the air's blasting again. Woo, that was a semi-successful shopping trip. Um, we only didn't get one thing on the list. I did end up remember remembering what the fifth thing was, but I'm so sad they didn't have the yogurt covered pretzels, which is like the thing that I was most excited for. So I was a little bummed about that, but I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, there was this homeless man, or I don't know if he was homeless or jobless, man in the parking lot, and he asked if he could wash my windows, and I was like, yeah, that's fine, and I gave him $5, because, I don't know, I have a big heart when it comes to the homeless, like, I don't care if they did it to themselves, I don't care if they want to use the money for drugs and alcohol, like, if I was living on the streets not knowing when my next shower was or where I could go to the bathroom or if I was gonna eat again and like not having like we complain in Vegas about how hot it is and like those people sometimes never get a break from the heat all they can do is go sit in the shade but like that's it so I told him I was like I was you know like I gave him five so I was just like get some water like you know while you're out here and but I want to show you he did such a good job on my windows like they look so good, so clean, so clear, and he did all of them. So, I almost told him, like, you don't have to do it, like, just go in, because we're at a grocery store. And he was, he was in there buying food. He literally was next to me at the self-checkout, so, like, he really went in there and bought water. And again, not that I care what he buys. I don't care if he bought a can of beer with the water. Like, if I was living on the streets, I would probably be really dependent on drugs and alcohol, too. And I just, like, I don't know how people can be so heartless towards them. Like, yeah, obviously they've made a few left turns in life and taken the, ro like, the wrong direction, but it doesn't mean that they should just suffer for the rest of their lives and that we shouldn't care about them. I don't know how, like, one human being looks at another human being and can see that they're suffering in some way. And if I can spare some change of my hard-earned money to help them not suffer, even just for a little while, then that's great. Like, yeah, it isn't going to help them long-term, but I don't have the means or the tools or the knowledge to help them long-term. So I'm going to do the little bit that I can. Anyway, I got the dino nuggets, I got some ranch, I got some chocolate cover, some white chocolate kisses to replace the chocolate covered pretzels. I got, it's actually yogurt covered pretzels. I don't know why I always say chocolate. I guess because it looks like white chocolate. And I got some grapes and Doritos and two Cokes. One for today, one for tomorrow. And then I just grabbed some watermelon. That wasn't on the list, but I just really wanted some. So let's go home. Oh man, I need to charge my camera. Okay, so I'm home from the store. I'm getting ready to start the first one. Obviously you guys saw I'm in my t-shirt. Um, I'm literally not going to eat any of the snacks yet. I think I might go get my watermelon, but that's about it because it's just so hot outside. It's 108 today that I don't really, one, I'm not hungry, and two, I just don't feel like eating anything. So, um, my laptop and iPad are there because I do have some work to do for, like, my actual job and for YouTube, which is just my hobby right now. I was so so close to getting a water bottle at the grocery store because you know they're like nice and cold but I was like no I have free water at home I can just get it from the fridge it is 536 so if my calculations are correct we should finish sometime around midnight factoring in how long each movie is and then breaks to like if I want to go make some nuggets or, you know, bathroom breaks, outfit changes, things like that. Which is good, because midnight is usually around the time I go to bed. All right, guys, we're all set up. 
here we go it's on hbo max for anyone anyone wondering the first three okay wow that's so dark i'm so sorry um but we are starting hold on we are starting number two and it is 7 50. fun fact i have never seen the second jurassic park i was born the year that jurassic park came out i was born in 1993 but the first jurassic park that i ever saw was the third one i didn't even know that it was a franchise my i had two cousins and they were both boys and so my aunt took both of them to see the third one they may have seen the other ones i don't know and they invited me and so it just i had never seen the other two had no idea it was a franchise and then i don't remember when i eventually saw the second one or the first one I mean but I have never seen the second so I've seen the first and the third and then I have seen both Jurassic Worlds but I've never sat down and watched the second one so I'm kind of excited but I also still kind of have a lot to do I did two of my work notes I have two left and I need to edit my video for tomorrow so I'm gonna pay attention as best as I can but the third one is like my favorite so I really want to be done with everything by that one hi we're in the kitchen now I'm about to make some nugs I'm excited I ate my Doritos and my watermelon already so I'm gonna make my nuggets now I finished one of my work notes and I edited my video for tomorrow so yay just waiting it for like for it to like export and stuff and then I still need to make the thumbnail but I might do that tomorrow. Um, so let's talk about the second Jurassic Park. I can see why God has kept me from watching it all these years. I absolutely hated it. Um, the minute, and I mean the minute that that nephew guy, which like if you haven't seen this you won't know who I'm talking about at all, but like the bad guy of the movie the minute they got to the island and started hunting the dinosaurs and kidnapping the dinosaurs and you had to listen to them like be in pain and captured they weren't tortured or anything but they weren't treated well um i was like oh i'm done like <laughs> i'm not paying attention to this movie so i literally just like wikipedia it to that so that way i would like know what happened but yeah, I don't, I don't like movies like that. I don't. I do not want to sit there and listen to some poor defenseless creature, because it was a baby, like fight for its life and be scared and be kidnapped and captured. Like, that's not for me. I don't like it. Honestly, if I had, if I had paid attention, I probably would have cried at some point. Like, I'm, I'm so, so sensitive to that stuff. The good news is that that does not happen in the first or the third movie. I definitely don't remember it in the first Jurassic World. And like, I've only seen the second Jurassic World once. Um, and I do remember it like, it kind of being a little bit like that. Like, I don't remember any torture scenes with or like kidnapping of the dinosaurs. But they're definitely like being held against their will and like being auctioned off. So, sorry if that like ruins it for you, but like... It's, I just, I don't like, I don't like stuff like that. I'm, I'm too sensitive. I have a bleeding heart. It is, I can't do it. I can't watch, even if it's a child, an animal, I don't like to watch someone being forced to do something that they wouldn't do and have to watch them be in pain or watch them be scared or hear them cry or yell or scream. Like, I don't know how people watch stuff like that. I, I don't. Like, there's nothing wrong with you if you do. It's, it's me like I'm too sensitive like I understand that it is just a movie and that but like but like it's 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 not like animals are kidnapped all the time and people do shitty things to them all the time like you read about it on the news you hear about it like when you're just scrolling through Facebook like someone did something awful to an animal like people suck so I just I'm not one of those people who can like look at pictures or watch videos of that stuff like I don't have the stomach for it and I don't have the thick skin for it like I will cry I cried in um, Narnia the lion the witch in the wardrobe when they held the lion down and cut off his mane oh my lanta I had never seen it before and I was at my client's house and it was like 
the first couple of weeks of us knowing each other and I was just sitting at this table I had never seen it before and we're watching the movie and I just start crying and I like turn to the mom and I'm like this movie's really sad and she was like oh, I'm so sorry like it was now it's hilarious and it's like one of the things that we laugh about but like I am sensitive I am too sensitive for stuff like that so just the fact that there were several scenes in this movie where you could hear this baby just crying because it was scared and it wanted to be unchained and because it was tied up and they had its mouth shut like tied shut and like you could just hear it you know they like broke its leg like oh I was just like no like I'm not I'm not watching this I'm not paying attention so I did other stuff the entire movie but I really liked the first one obviously because I've seen that one many times and the third one is my favorite so we're gonna end the night on a high note yeah, buddy. let's get this party started right good morning gosh guys I am exhausted but it is nearly 10 a.m. I've just been sitting here doing some work about to start Jurassic World number one. I'm really excited because I really like this movie. I did not sleep well last night. I've been up since eight, but just moving very slowly. Sup y'all? Okay, so I have not talked to you guys since this morning. It is now 8.40. The movie starts in 40 minutes. Our tickets are for 9.20 and Chris to the fur is still not here. He is late and it is not great. I hate being late to the movies because I don't like to miss the previews. And it's so funny because he texts me, he was like, I forgot I had to get gas. So like I'm getting gas and then I'll be on my way. And I'm like, I told you to be here at 8.40 because like I needed to get gas and I didn't want to get gas late at night by myself. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait until Chris comes so that way he can go with me. And now I don't think we'll have time to get gas because he's late from getting gas. The good news is we definitely have enough gas to get there like we have 70 miles you know until I run out of gas but let's see I watched the Jurassic World 1 and Jurassic World 2 today Jurassic World 2 was a little bit like um, Jurassic Park 2 my ex-boyfriend pointed that out to me um, when I told him why I didn't like number two he's like oh it sounds a lot like Jurassic World number two and I was like yeah, but I didn't remember the dinosaurs like, screaming in agony so much. There were some tear drinking moments that I had suppressed, but I still did not find it as hard to watch as as Jurassic Park to the Lost World. That I will never watch that one again. I would watch Jurassic World 2 again. Like, oh, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, there's this part where they're trying to get all the dinosaurs off the island and technically they do but they're kidnapped by the bad guys and there's this one like long neck I think they're called like Brachiosaurus or something that gets left behind in the lava of the volcano and it's it's crying and it's it's yelling it's not a fun scene it's very very sad okay guys I am back home it is actually the next day the next morning um, I just wanted to come on here to end the vlog, but also to tell you guys that both Chris and I really did not like this movie. And it's such a bummer and it's so unfortunate, but like it sucked. We both agreed that it felt like we were watching like two different movies. They just, they almost had like two completely separate plot lines for like one set of characters was doing this the whole movie and one set of characters was doing this for the movie and in like they had stuff to do with each other but like not really like you could have picked one and made the movie about that like it was just it was not good it was just like the second Jurassic Park to me there was just a lot of torture and kidnapping of the dinosaurs it was such a bummer because you know this is obviously going to be the finale like there's going to be no more Jurassic World like they did three Jurassic Parks so they did three Jurassic Worlds at least that's how it is now or like that's what they're saying it is now and so it's just kind of like oh, this 
is how we ended it. It was boring, like it did not really keep our attention. There were so many things lacking in it. So many things that they could have done differently. The writing wasn't as good as it normally is. It was just, it was a mess of a movie. I wish I could stand here and tell you like how amazing it is and that you need to go see it and they did this epic conclusion of the Jurassic series so good, but they didn't. They did not blow it out of the water. They didn't even make like a ring in the water. It was awful. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, if you guys liked it, pretty please give it a thumbs up. It really supports me and my channel. And if you guys liked me, pretty please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my mental health. I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, I think that's everything. So, okay, love you. Bye.